so yeah, a brand DNA. It's a it's a term that we coined nearly twenty over twenty years ago, but it's very commonplace now. It's you, you, a, a brand DNA is like its genetic counterpart. It's a template for replicating consistent desired brand experiences. Uh, so it's future forward. It is, if you like, it's a very rich articulation of purpose of positioning and of culture. Uh, it's a different and more compelling way of expressing vision, mission, and value statements. Uh, so it contains four or five key components, your role, your reason for existing, your raison d'etre, if, if you like. Why do you exist beyond making money uh, to serve your customers? Uh, it contains beliefs, what you firmly believe in, what you stand for, which ultimately defines what a strong brand is, and also what you stand against so that you know what you're not. Uh, the heart of your DNA is your promise, and your promise is your overarching commitment to your stakeholders. And by stakeholders, I mean it can be customers if you're selling a product, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. It could be your employees. It could be strategic partners. Uh, it could be anyone who has a vested interest in your brand because that brand is their brand too. So your promise is that overarching commitment and it needs to be relevant. It needs to be compelling. It needs to be differentiating and it needs to be above all credible. You have to deliver against it. And then the, the, the other components of your DNA are what we used to call the spirit or your culture, the way you go about doing things how you present yourself, how you show up to your customers. And that more often than not is the thing that differentiates you. You may provide a product or a service that's similar to competitors, but the way in which you do it is very different. And so understanding and articulating that is key. And then the last part are the icons and the attributes that you own that are triggers or burrs that um, evoke uh, imagery of that bigger offering uh, and benefit that, that uh, of or that, that recognition of who you are um, that may exist already um, in extreme circumstances, you know, like McDonald's golden arches or, uh, you know, Shangri-La chandeliers. Um, but in more often than not in smaller and startup companies, they're hidden and they may be just things that you haven't recognized yet that are repeated or that people know for you. It could be a favorite um, you know, dish if you were a restaurant. Um, you know, it could be a, a signature T-shirt if you were in an apparel company or something like that. So that's something that you own that you can build up. So all of those things, your role, your benefits, your purpose, and the benefits that your customers derive from you delivering against your promise, your spirit, your culture, and your icons and your attributes, they form your rich, unique, uh, defining brand DNA. And you know, I like to think of those ingredients gathered in this kind of magic blue velvet bag with a gold thread tied over it. And they, they, they end up being cementing and becoming your true north, your guiding star that guides everything that your organization does and everything your organization says.